Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your September love reading. Hope you guys are doing well. So keep in mind, this is a general love reading for September. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. If this one doesn't resonate, take a look at your Moon or your Rising sign. If it does resonate, the link to the extended reading is below where we dive a little bit deeper, find out a little bit more. All right. Cards have been pre-shuffled. We are set to go. So this is for Sagittarius, September love. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, let's look at the recent past. What do we have? Well, you, right out of the gate. Major Arcana for Sagittarius, there's temperance. What's going on right now? What's the current energy for you and this other person? Two of Cups, okay. Person you're thinking about or connecting with, Sagittarius, what's on their mind? What's going through their thoughts? The Death card, might be a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Major Arcana for Scorpio. What does this person think of you, Sagittarius? The Magician, look at all these majors. Big shifts in energy happening. All right, you've got uh, Gemini energy there. How does this person feel about you deep down? The Knight of Swords. How do they wanna move forward with you, Sagittarius? What are their intentions moving forward? The Ten of Cups. All right, what's coming in that you don't see? So what's in the hidden factors? The Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. All right, what's your advice from Spirit? What do they want you to do? The King of Pentacles. And what's the outcome in love for September? You've got the Empress. Libra energy, major arcana, a lot of major arcanas. So this is a very important person in your life, Sagittarius, or big, big shifts in energy are coming. <clears throat> Not a bad reading so far. All right, you guys, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe for me. If you don't mind, leave your comments below. Again, if you want to check out the extended reading, that link is right below as well, where we dive a little bit deeper. Look at you coming out, King of Wands. In this particular deck, I feel like it's Leo energy. Didn't have to be either, but there's that fire. Um, yeah, check out the extended reading. Uh, we're gonna find out how your person truly feels, but we're gonna concentrate more on their energy and see what's really going through their thoughts, what's going on in their life that maybe you don't know, and how's it all gonna play out. So if you're single, couple, this is for you, right? It's just however this fits into your life. If you're on a break from someone, Six of Pentacles, this Ten of Cups is how they feel about reconciling, okay? Now, I am gonna do a complete singles reading here in the near future, but let's do it. Also, if y'all need a private reading, I have put that link below as well. Go uh, book your private reading. All right, let's do it, Sag. So in the past, we have you, Temperance. So why is Temperance here in the recent past for Sagittarius, the Hierophant? Somebody was really um, being patient here about committing to something quite traditional. Some of you are already married to this person, but others of you are in a long-term relationship, but others of you, maybe somebody wasn't as open to it at one point, and then we see this kind of balancing of emotions to go towards something quite traditional with the Hierophant, Taurus energy there. Now, and even if it didn't happen, you both were in that energy. There's this energy around, listen, you know, I'm now willing to kind of balance this out. And also being patient with somebody here when it comes to a long-term commitment. Why is the Two of Cups here right now? So this is present energy, Sagittarius, and the Five of Pentacles. Some of you were waiting on someone um, maybe to leave another partner or to, you know, it could even be, be you, Sagittarius, for some of you, waiting to separate so that you could move towards a soulmate energy here. Right now, we've got the Five of Pentacles with this Two of Cups. Why? Because of the Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. Somebody still wants to expand and to feed this connection growth. But again, somebody in the equation may be unavailable because of the Empress. And it's like there's a strong, strong connection here, but there's also a relationship that might be in the way for somebody. Why the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, Queen of Wands. Could be you, certainly, but she's fire energy, typically Aries. But a lot of times in my readings, this is like another energy. This is someone else here. There's somebody standing in the way of this strong connection. Now on this person's mind, Sagittarius is death. Why is death here? Sign of Scorpio and the wheel, yeah. 
this person's waiting for something to end so that they can kind of walk that path with you is what it looks like. Why is death here with the Wheel of Fortune? And again, two major arcana, so this would be a big change. The wheel is something finally going in their favor. Yeah, the world. Another major. They're waiting on an ending. They're either waiting for you to end something so you guys can move forward, or they're waiting to end something with someone else. Now, if you were already in a commitment and a relationship, this person's heavy, heavy in the energy of like the breakup or the divorce or something. What do they want though with the world? What does this person want? The five of swords in reverse to overcome the conflict and the pain of that five of swords in reverse here. If uh, you guys are waiting to be together for some reason, they're kind of just trying to go calmly and quietly <laughs> away from another energy. What do they think of you, the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy? Yeah, the eight of cups. They either know that you want them to walk away from someone or you're trying to walk away from someone. You're trying to get everything together here using all the tools that you have to make this happen. Why the magician with the eight of cups? Page of swords in reverse. You already know everything you need to know. Page of swords in reverse, yeah, can be somebody that's been lying. They're just kind of creeping or whatever, but it's also this lack of being inquisitive because you already know everything. You've got the moon there. The unknown here, though, is how they view. Now, this doesn't mean it's reality. This is just how they perceive you or what they think of you in the situation. They know that you, again, somebody needs to leave somebody behind, probably, and leave the past behind. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. They know that you still want to kind of come together and work on this. Have a conversation. How are we going to build? But there's some unknown here. I think you're dealing with somebody who needs to leave somebody else behind, Sag. And if it's not like a love interest or a marriage or something like that, it's just somebody in their life that's caused some Five of Swords energy. How do they feel about you, the Knight of Swords and the Chariot? Very fast energy. Two of the fastest cards in the deck. That Knight of Swords is like, there may probably been some drama, but in their emotions, they were like, they wanted it yesterday. And the Chariot, again, very quick energy. You've got Cancer energy there. And the Chariot is just to overcome some obstacles and move forward. They want success and victory and they want it quickly. How do they want to move forward with you? See, they've got this Ten of Cups. What's this about? And the Two of Swords in reverse. So those of you Sages that are married to this person and you're kind of like thinking about maybe moving on or you're not sure what you want here, they absolutely still want this marriage and this family situation happily ever after. They know it. There's no doubt. Two of Swords in reverse. Others of you, they know that there's a marriage in the way here. And they, they, they see things clearly. They've made a decision here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Their marriage or their long-term relationship outside of you, they know. It's, it's, there's no investment anymore. It's kind of a waste of time at this point. What's coming that you don't see? So in the hidden factors, you've got a Queen of Cups. Just about, there you go, the death card. A lot of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. Or you have Scorpio in your chart. What's this Queen of Cups with the death card? Why is this here? Seven of Cups in reverse. No more illusions, right? No more manipulation, <clears throat> no more haze, no more confusion. And the options are being eliminated here. What's this uh, death card with the Seven of Cups in reverse? And the Page of Wands, good news is coming. Again, those of you that are waiting for this person to be free or to be able to move forward with you, it's happening. It's definitely coming. This Queen of Cups could be the person, that, like another person involved. But I'm getting this is more you, like the emotions just being balanced here now becoming more emotionally available because there's a complete transformation in a relationship here. So whatever this is to you, Sagittarius, I mean, again, those of you that are married and have been contemplating leaving this person or things haven't been working, I see you moving on from that. But I also see them still wanting that happily ever after. <clears throat> Your advice is this King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. What's this King of Pentacles about? The Ace of Swords, finally that breakthrough, that victory. That's what Spirit's telling you. Because 
The King of Pentacles, I mean, it doesn't have to be an earth sign that you're involved with, but the King of Pentacles is all about security and stability and very, very loyal. You can count on that energy. Likes the, you know, finer things in life. Nothing wrong with that. But he is about commitment and being very, very loyal. You can count on the King of Pentacles to come through and to provide and to nurture and to want something stable. He's a husband, you know, father. What's this King of Pentacles? With the Ace of Swords. Why is this the advice for Sagittarius? And the Five of Wands in reverse. No more drama. The drama is going to come to an end. People are walking away from the drama. Again, some of you are walking away from this long-term relationship. For whatever reason. Everybody has different reasons. But they also want you to know that there is stability. There is a victory here with the Ace of Swords. Something becomes very clear. Here. And we see that here in the hidden factors. There's communication. There's good news. I just get for the majority of you, you're able to finally progress and move forward with someone here after probably waiting for quite a while because there was some sort of obstacle in the way. I think for a lot of you, it was another person. I see them freeing themselves of that. The outcome has an empress. So you've got major arcana there for Libra. That empress is ruled, you know, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, ruled by Venus. I mean, she's all about love. She's beautiful. She's nurturing. She's expansion and able to really kind of give life to love and to, you know, abundance. It's beautiful energy with the nine of wands Wait, hanging in there. That nine of wands, your fire energy. But that nine of wands says, we've been to hell and back. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm cautious. But in this deck, look, she's waiting by that like waiting by that post she's persevering she or he because there is expansion there is growth here and if it's you know if you're the Sagittarius that's having to leave something long term behind then you're doing it solo but you're loving yourself you're taking really good care of yourself and you're just moving forward but don't forget somebody here still wants to grow this connection why the Empress and the Nine of Wands why is this here Six of Swords in reverse so something returns. Those of you that are married or again in that relationship and you've just decided to move on, it's because you can't really overcome some sort of, you know, problem. Six of Swords in reverse is, you know, there's really no resolution here. I'm hanging strong, I'm hanging, you know, I'm I'm getting through, I'm fighting through. I'm just really guarded because I'm choosing to love myself and to grow and have a new beginning here. It's very strong energy, but you definitely have somebody that doesn't want that to be over. And again, the others of you, this returns, right? There's an energy that now, you know, here they come because they're able to kind of hang in there and move away from another energy. Six of Swords in reverse. What is this about? Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, Libra energy again, but she's often an ex. Some of you are in that Queen of Swords or in reverse energy and just like, I'm done. Like, I'm kind of bitter. If you come after me or try to get me back, I'll probably tell you to F off. I mean, she's, you know, she's tired. She's been through it. She's over it. And she's got a little mouth on her, Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all. But also, too, um, there's no resolution here with another energy outside of y'all as well. And you could be dealing with kind of a not so happy queen of swords in reverse she doesn't have to be a libra but you know it's somebody who isn't going to make maybe life easy on your person she feels a little bit um scorned that's to put it mildly queen of swords justice but things happen the way they're supposed to happen and then you have major arcana for libra this is listen i'm making this choice or decision it's important in my life but it's to bring balance for everybody involved some of you are living in that justice energy and it's just like, I've had it. Like, I'm done here. I'm starting new. I'm moving forward. Hidden factors, page of wands. It's like going towards a new beginning, taking action and feeling, you know, free. And for others of you, this is good news coming in about your person kind of moving forward in their life. It's a big, big um, shift in energy in this reading, Sag. A lot of you are finally able to kind of move forward in a situation where there was a lot of blockages. 
And now that energy is opening up. It's much lighter. Finally able to kind of be together here. All right, in the extended reading, we're going to take a closer look at your person, dive into their energy, see how they really feel, kind of what's going through their thoughts, what's going to be coming in in the hidden factors that you don't see yet, what's the outcome, who they might be dealing with and their energy, and all that good stuff. So I will see you guys over on the extended reading. I love you hard. Love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.